Hi, my name is Charles Farina, and this is the periodic table of Google Analytics. Today I'm going to cover the Active Users Report in Google Analytics. The Active Users Report is more of an intermediate type feature, and the purpose of the Active Users Report is to help understand your retention rate of your website or your mobile app. So how often are users coming back within certain time periods? So by default, the Active Users Report shows you your daily active users, which is simply how many users are active on your website every day. You have the ability with active users to actually plot different date ranges. So you can do daily, weekly, monthly, and bi-weekly. And with those four time periods, you can examine how often users are coming back within those intervals. So for example, if you were to plot daily and monthly users next to each other, if your goal was to have every user visit every single day, those two lines on that graph would be on top of each other. The further they are away, the more your users are not coming back within those two different time periods. So when you plot all four, you should be able to see changes in your site traffic as you're making changes to your marketing activities. So for example, if you launch an email campaign designed to promote retention, you'll start to see certain lines come closer together if you're meeting your retention goals. Now as a pro tip, this report also allows you to put event segments on top, allowing you to see what the effect of your various active users are for anything you are collecting in Google Analytics. So as an example, are engaged users more active than non-engaged users? Are users that come from an email have a higher active user rate than users that come from paid or any other channel? So by using an event segment, you can really use the report to focus on, on a specific question that's relevant to you.